Hey guys, welcome back. Kelly here with 1776 Firearms. Uh, today, sorry it's a little echoey, I'm doing this uh, intro inside the house. It's a little wet outside. So uh, Tim and I uh, are going to be doing a review on the Taurus Tracker. It's a 357 Magnum um, double action revolver. Double action for any new shooters out there. Double action refers to the amount of jobs that the trigger does. And in this case, it's going to do two jobs. It, it cocks the hammer and then it also releases it. So the trigger pull is going to be a little bit stiffer on this one. Now you can always shoot them in single action mode, which means you physically cock your hammer back uh, and then the trigger just does one job and that releases the, the hammer. Uh, it is 357 Magnum, but we're gonna be shooting both 357 Magnum and 38 Special out of this gun. Um, you can do that with 357 Magnum revolvers. Uh, the, the, the projectile, the bullet, are the same diameter. Uh, the 357 Magnum has a, a little bit more power to it, uh, but I'll talk about that here in a second. So this pistol, this pistol, this revolver uh, is a six and a half inch barrel. Uh, I, it's going to feel, I'm guessing, pretty darn awesome to shoot. So we're going to shoot that at a range and then we'll come back and tell you what we think of it. These um, videos are strictly informational. I'm not trying to sell you the gun, uh, just trying to shoot it and tell you our, our best idea of how it did. And then you can do whatever you want with that information. All right, talking about the two different rounds. So this one is a 357 Magnum. This one is a 38 Special. So if you look, the 357 Magnum is just a little bit longer. Uh, they're both 158 grains. That means the projectile, the bullet that's leaving the, the muzzle, the front of the gun, is 158 grains. It weighs 158 grains. This one, uh, the 357 Magnum, leaves that barrel at 1,470 feet per second. 1,470 feet per second. The 38 Special uh, leaves the, the muzzle, the, the gun, at 917 feet per second. Huge difference. So it should feel very differently, and we'll, we'll talk to you guys about that too. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys after we shoot. That dude, it's beautiful. Another shot. What just happened? Misfire? Yep, that's a misfire. What are we gonna do? Just gonna sit here for a little bit. All right, take that finger off the trigger. Nice job, Tim. You should be good. Okay. And all you got to do is just shoot again. Right. Because with your revolver, as soon as you pull that trigger, it's going to put the next one in its place. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you think? Dude, that was, that was an experience. All right, guys, welcome back. So the GoPro died, not really sure what happened. So I'm trying this on the phone, never done that before, but uh, we just got done. Uh, this is Tim. Tim, hi, well, Nice to meet you guys. All right, so we just got done shooting. Uh, it was actually Tim's uh, Taurus Tracker 357 Magnum. Uh, while we were in there, we did, uh, we did the 38 Special, and then we also shot some 357 Magnum in there. Uh, we were using Vandalia Ranger Armory. The 357 Magnum, scared the hell of, out of a lot of people but that was fun Got a um, crowd reaction so we shot this revolver both in single and double action mode it shot so smooth um very smooth shooting revolver um with the with the size and the weight of it uh, it had a six and a half inch barrel still has a six and a half inch barrel um so it, it was able to absorb a lot of that that kick that, that you would associate with a revolver that size. Um, so it shot really smooth. We were able to get on target. Um, both of us shot very well. It was easy to place your shot. Um, and it didn't matter if it was 38 Special or 357. I thought it was extremely comfortable to shoot. Yeah. Even with so, the 357, it didn't feel like much of a kick at all. No, but it sure made you poo a little bit when it first yeah. goes off you're yeah, like no. it's a loud. um but uh it was man. fun man a lot of fun to shoot so what do you think it was wonderful it was wonderful i loved shooting it single action it was okay double action too but definitely i'd have to get comfortable with that but the single action felt really responsive uh snappy um yeah yeah i didn't even feel like didn't have to fight the gun much that was beautiful it didn't kick back too hard at all yeah and so for any new uh shooters who don't understand so when he says he was shooting single action, he's physically cocking the hammer back and then just using the trigger to do one job and that's to release the, the hammer. So that's what he refers to. And then double action is where you're letting the trigger do both jobs uh, and that's cocking the hammer and then releasing it as well. So you've got more of a, it, it's a little bit harder of a trigger pull in double action. But dude, either one, like you said, yeah. it was super smooth. I don't know what it was smooth. Yeah, loved it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this helped. Uh, you guys have a good one. We'll see you next time.